Hey there Internet, today on To Can Play That Game we've got a special treat as you can join me teaching my wife how to play Waggle Dance by Grubbling Games. So join us as we each take control of a hive of bees to see which hive is the best at producing honey. For our first playthrough live recording, we have Waggle Dance, all set up for two player. Um, so, a brief explanation of how we play the game. We will have two phases of play we have the day phase and night phase. So, during the day phase, we will take turns, starting with the first player, to place one of our worker bees, and we'll, at the start of the round, roll all of our worker bees that we have available. Where you can place those worker bees is on one of the action cards. So the first action card here we have allows you to take another hex for your honeycomb. And you can place it on either the one, the two or the five. And that space is blocked once there's a bee on there. You place the hex. No, you place, you place the dice. dice. Yeah, so and you can only use a dice of those values. Mm -hmm. So that's what these yellow dice are doing, they're just restricting the spaces for a two player game. Um, then when we do the night phase, the night phase we resolve all of these, so we're just placing them at the moment, so you don't take the hex. But that's what that space will allow you to do, is take a hex. Um, this space is actually easier to explain once we've talked about this space. So this allows you to take eggs. Obviously here you can use a 2, or 4 or a 6. And when you take an egg during the night phase, you place it on one of your hexes. The hex can't have a... Um, can't have any nectar in it, which is what all the coloured cubes are. It has to be empty. And it can't be honey, which is the other side. And the aim of the game is to be the first one to meet the prerequisite honey spaces. <coughs> it's fine. Um, so we'll do a short game, which is five honey spaces, so you're aware. You should probably explain that you're not playing against a cat for a change. Well, yes, I know it's unusual, isn't it? Yes, I, sh I should say playing with me today, I have my wife, Sarah. So, yeah, who's saying hello. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's, that action allows you to take an egg, but that does nothing on its own, it will just sit there taking up a spot. The card before that allows you to hatch an egg if you have two workers of the same number on it. So as well as placing your workers on the dice spots on these cards, you can also place them on an egg. And obviously you can't hatch an egg the same turn you get it because we'll be resolving these in order starting with the one on the left. The next option you have is to place for nectar. So the dice value that you can use is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6 and that dictates the colour of nectar. Now colour of nectar is important because you use nectar to create honey. But you can only do that when you have enough of a certain colour in a space. And we'll get to that shortly. The way these spaces resolve in the night is different to all the others. It's not for going there you get one nectar. But I'll talk about that when we get to the night phase, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the next card, this is another nice simple one where you just place a worker on there. Um, and that will allow you, for each worker you place there, to do a trade. So you can either trade an egg that you have on a hex for one nectar of any colour, or you can trade two identical nectars for one nectar of any other colour. Um, the next one is another one that relates to if you have workers on spaces. However, this time it's not to do with hatching an egg, it's to do with two different things. Firstly, you can move nectar from one worker 
to another worker if they have the same number. So if I have a 5 there and a 5 there, for example, I can freely move Nectar between those two. The next thing that it does is if you have two workers of the same number on a space that has four Nectar of the same colour, you can create honey. So you put the Nectar back in the supply, you take your workers back, and you'd flip that. And that's obviously how you're going to win the game in the end. Mm -hmm. It is possible with that to do both if you had three dice of the same number. Because you could trade between the two spaces and then use this double to do the convert to Nectar. The final space is another nice easy one where you just place a bee on the correct number. And that will, in the night phase, allow you to take these Queen Bee cards. So, these Queen Bee cards will do all sorts of different special power things. And um, we'll go through those. You can look at the rules. We'll have to be referencing that probably as we draw them. Because um, there are quite a few different ones. Um, the main thing to note is that they can be used in two different phases. They're either the day cards, which are the orangey ones, which means you play them during the day phase or their night phase cards, meaning you play them during the night phase. But there's a nice little reference there. And we'll be referring to that throughout the game a lot, I'm sure. So, then once we've done the day phase, we'll flip the card to do our night phase. So, this is the point you'd actually resolve all your worker bees. So, if you had a bee there, starting with the first player, they would take theirs from the first card and resolve those, so getting those, doing their hatching. So you'd resolve each person who has one on the first card, then you, but starting with the first player. Then you move on to the next card, and the next card, and the next card. With these Nectars, it's all about area control. It's who has the most workers there. So it's not you get one for each worker. It's if you have the most, so say I was the only one on yellow, I obviously have the most, I get two nectar of that colour. If you have the second most, so say I have one one and you have two, although they're the wrong numbers, but that's fine <laughs> for the example. So they have to be ones they, You can on only place card. them on there if there are a one. So they'd have to be ones on here, twos on here. So yeah. So if you had the majority, you'd get two. I'd get one for having the um, for having the second most. I'd get one. Um, anyone else who was on there who had less, if there were more players, would get nothing. But if we have an equal amount, we each get one. Um, so that's nice and clear. I so you get two if you have the most, or if you're the only. And yeah, because uh, that's the sharing. equivalent of having the most. Yeah. One each of your sharing, and one in the in our case, one if you also got the second most, because there are no other players. So you'll resolve each of these in turn. If there's no nectar to take, obviously you can't take any nectar. Each of when you take nectar, you'll place it in one of your hexes. Now. You can't place it where there is an egg, because an egg takes up the whole hex. And you can't place it if you already have four nectar there. Also, you cannot move nectar that was placed on a previous round. So if you have, like, one pink and one yellow, and then you manage to get three yellow, you wouldn't be able to go, oh, well, I'll just move that out so I've got the four of a kind. You can't just move nectar like that. Except using a card effect. Yes, there are card effects, obviously, like, if you do this, you can move Nectar, yeah. But you can't just immediately move it. Um, also, you can, if you don't have space, choose which Nectar you keep and which you don't. Um, from that round only, though. So if it was a past round's Nectar, you can't get rid of it. So you collect up all your Nectar from resolving all these different numbers, then you place it. Um, then this one, as I said, that's trading to get nectar. Um, we already talked about these pretty much detailed, how these will work. Um, so any questions? I think we're fairly clear on that point. <coughs> um, so this is the only way to get 
that's turn a hex into honey. Yeah, that's the only way. And there the way there to are get cards a hex. here potentially. I don't. <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly which ones we've got in because you don't use all the queen bee cards each game. Um, but there are ones that mean you can have different colours of nectar. Um, but you still have to do that action with two numbers. There are also ones that mean um, you only need free nectar of a colour, for example. Um, Is there any reason I wouldn't just go after one colour of nectar? You might not have the dice to do it. And so if just you just based off the numbers. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you could roll all threes, for example, and be, oh, well, that's only going to give me three. You know, two pink. I really needed white this turn. And unless you've got trading going on or some other special ability from a card, you, the most you're going to get of a specific colour in a round is two. Mm -hmm. um, so to pick first player, we roll this. Highest goes first. What's our honey target? Uh, we'll do short game five. I thought I said that. But we'll well, I may not have been listening. Okay, so I got four. So I, I'll go first. Um, I've no idea how well it's all coming up on the camera, but it's an experiment, so we'll see, won't we? Um, so I'll go first. We have our night phase to start, but we need to both roll our dice. Oh, did I talk about hatching eggs? Other than the fact that you needed to put two, that it gives you extra dice. Mm, I figured. Yeah. From the picture. So you have to put two the same on an egg, and then do you give that? The egg, egg goes back? back, yeah, and you and get you a get die. <coughs> yeah. Okay, so we have ones, threes, and fives in common. And also, I don't know if you covered already. Can you put multiple dice per card? You and can you put multiple make... dice per card, but not per number space. So, like, I've just blocked the five yeah. on that space. And now you place a dice. Okay, this seems wise. Go with threes. I'm going to go up there. Okay. And remind me again, if I win on there with one, or not win, but have the most. I yeah. get just as much as if I had two dice on there. Correct. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gonna go one there. And there's, if if I have any dice left, they're just wasted. Uh, you can't have dice left. You have to put them out on the numbers if you can, okay. on the um nectar. Well, I think Nectar's the only place I can put my dice values now. What have you got? One, three, and five. Mm. Yeah, I can't see any other options. Okay, so we're done with the day phase, flip the card over, we're into our night phase. So I'm first player, so I start, I take my dice back, and I take a hex into my honeycomb for that. And we're resolving one by one from this end. Yep, yeah, so you now do the same with your one. And then we would resolve hatching. And this just goes back in my yeah, pool. it's back in your pool. So we'd resolve hatching. Obviously, no one has any eggs mm -hmm. to hatch. So then we'll resolve next card. So gaining <coughs> eggs, I gain two eggs, which I have to place on hexes. And then we resolve our nectar. So on our one space here, we both have an equal number. So we share getting one each. 
Then on the 2, I have the majority, so I get 2. And on the 3, you get 2. And on the 5, you'll get 2. And they can go in the same one because they're the same. Uh, they could, they could the go same, in the same any, no if you're existing one, yeah. You, you want to only have the same colours, really, otherwise you're then going to have to move nectar around. Yeah. Okay, and uh, we've got one dice left to resolve. So I take this, which means I draw a Queen Bee card off the top of the deck, and if Sarah wouldn't mind looking away, I will just show this to the camera here. So you can see this one here. Um, obviously, it's meaning yeah, those colours. Yeah. So I think that's clear for the people at home that will allow me to do. Okay. Um, so that's our night phase over. So I now pass this to Sarah. And it's now her as first player for this round. Mm -hmm. So we roll our dice. I think my dice are broken. <laughs> Did you roll ones, threes, and fives again? One of them managed to land on the two side. Ah. <laughs> <coughs> so, so you're placing first. And we're playing for five, honey. Yeah. Ones, twos, and fives. Yes, I see. Hmm. What eggs good for hatching more dice? And you can trade them for nectar as well. And it's for one nectar. Yep. Queen B card's pretty powerful. Um, I don't know really. I they vary quite a lot. Um, they can do a lot of different things. They can be fairly powerful. Okay. Um, And there's no element of I can't play stuff on here now because I've put an early. No, no, no. Um, so I think I will go there. So you talked before about not being able to do stuff because they're resolving this order. I think that was these ones. Yeah. Because you could get an egg and then immediately translate yes, it. Yes, you that. can trade it immediately. You can't, the, the only thing you can't do is get an egg and hatch that egg in the mm. same turn. Because hatching happens before the getting of the egg. Yeah. Oh, do, yes. If I want to use this one, do yeah. I put the number of dice on it still to be No, no, you place it? them on your spaces where you want oh, them to be. Okay. So and you do it, one still do it one at a time. Because I can't place a pair of them on four nectar yet. Uh, well, no, you don't have to place... You can place them on an empty space if you want to. If you thought you could then fill it before it came round to that. Okay. You, you may just waste dice. You only place one at a time, still. Even though it wants a pair? Yeah. It's just you can't right, do that yeah, unless yeah. you have a pair there. Yeah. So I have ones and twos left. And I am going to place a one there. I'm sure I had a plan. Well, you're going to need another five on there. Yeah, so I'll just do that. And I'm going to... Put another one on this egg. Okay, yeah, so that'll get you the, yeah. Not much I can do about that, I don't think. So I'll put a two on an egg. Queen bee 
had or pink nectar. We take pink nectar. Mm, you do already have two of that. I need to be careful of you, don't I? And no. then my final one will go there. And then we flip the card for night time. So we'll start resolving with you. Uh, so first card. So you take a hex, yeah. So I'll do the same for my one there. I'll put one there. And then hatching. So I'll be hatching two eggs, which will get me two more dice. Move. Hmm? I mean... <laughs> Is what I said. Yes, that sounded mm -mm. exactly like what you said. Mm -mm. Uh, I've got a lot of empty space. <coughs> you have now because you just hatched mm. stuff. Well, yeah, you're going to be getting honey and I'm just going to have empty space. Mm, um, so I get two bluers for my number two. <laughs> and then uh, you two get two pinks. pinks. Do you and for the two grey. So uh, you're well on your way. And then we do transferring, no transferring, but honeying. This, where these dudes uh, take these away? Yeah, so those go back into the nectar supply. Messing up the display royally. Yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? And they go it off and this becomes honig. Oi. And you now can't place anything on there. Mm -hmm. But that's one point towards winning. Yes. Okay, and that's the end of the night phase. So this card will come back over to me and we roll our dice.